Greetings to you all. Welcome back to English class. Hope you are fine and safe with your parents. Stay home, stay safe. Today, in this class, we are going to discuss about active voice and passive voice. This topic is very important in the examination point of view, especially for 10th, 11th and 12th standard students. So let's start. In English grammar, verbs have five properties. Voice, mood, tense, person and number. Here, we are concerned with voice. Let's see voice. Voice is a form of the verb which shows whether the subject acts or is acted upon. Voice is divided into two types, active voice and passive voice. Next, active voice. When the subject of the sentence is the doer of an action. The verb is active and hence said to be in active voice. General formula in active voice is subject plus verb plus object. Let's see the example. Rom gave a pen. Here the subject is Rom does the action. Next passive voice. When the subject of the sentence is acted upon the verb in passive and hence said to be in passive voice. General formula in passive voice is object plus helping verb plus V3 plus by plus subject. Let's see the example. A pen was given by Rom. Here, the pen is the subject, doesn't do the action. Now, we will see the rules of active and passive voice. Rules is very important to change a sentence from active voice into passive voice. So, you have to learn the rules in order to change the sentence from active voice into passive voice. The following are the main rules of active voice and passive voice. See the first basic rule. The object of active is changed into subject of the passive. The subject of the active is changed into object of the passive. That is, the subject and the object of the active voice, they change the place in the passive voice. Second rule, change the helping verb according to the tense. Third rule, Preposition by is used in the passive voice just before the object. Now, we will see what is V1, V2 and V3. V1, present tense of the verb. V2, past tense of the verb. V3, past participle of the verb. Rules to change subject, which is a pronoun to object. See the active voice and passive voice. Which one is the subject here? He, she, I, we, you, they, name. These are the subject in active voice. You have to change this subject as a pronoun in passive voice. See the first one, I. You have to change me in passive voice as a pronoun. He means you have to change him in passive voice. She means her you have to change in passive voice. We means you have to change us in passive voice. They means you have to change them in passive voice. It you have to write as it is, there is no change in passive voice. You, you have to write as it is, there is no change in passive voice. Name, you have to write as it is, there is no change in passive voice. There are 12 forms of tense, but only 8 forms of tense we are going to use in passive voice. That is, simple present tense, present continuous tense, present perfect tense, simple past tense, past continuous tense, Past perfect tense, simple future tense, future perfect tense. So, we cannot make passive voice in present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense, future continuous tense, future perfect continuous tense. Next, we will see first type, that is simple present tense. What is simple present tense? Simple present tense is used to express a habitual action and general truth. Next. We will see the rules of active voice and passive voice in present tense. Using the rules, we are going to change the sentence from active voice into passive voice. Let's see active voice rules. Subject plus V1 plus object. Here, V1 is present form of the verb. In passive voice, subject plus helping verb is am, or plus V3 plus by plus object. Here, V3 is the third form of the verb. Before we go to the example, let's see which subject you have to use the helping verb. Is, am, or. If it is a singular noun, 
you have to use is if it is a plural noun you have to use are that is he is she is it is i am we are you are they are let us try to understand with example in active voice i solved the problem now we have to change this sentence from active voice into passive voice already i informed you the subject and the object in active voice they change the present passive voice now in passive voice the problem is solved by me the problem is the object in active voice and now changes the subject in passive voice is is a helping verb solved is a v3 form of the verb by before the object we have to use it me here i is a subject in active voice and now we have to change as a pronoun me as a object in passive voice present continuous tense present continuous tense indicates an action or condition is happening now frequently and may continue into the future see the rules in active voice subject plus helping verb is am or plus v1 plus ing plus object in passive voice subject plus helping verb is am or plus b plus v3 plus by plus object now let's see the example in active voice the boys are burning waste papers now we have to change this sentence from active voice into passive voice so the passive voice sentence is waste papers are being burned by the boys waste paper is a object in active voice and now change this subject in passive voice or is a helping verb being play a very important role in passive voice burnt v3 that is third form of verb by before the object we have to use the by the boys is a subject in active voice and now change this object in passive voice present perfect tense present perfect tense expresses action that happen at a time that is not specific see the rules in active voice subject plus helping verb has have plus v3 plus object in passive voice subject plus helping verb has have plus be plus v3 plus by plus object before we go to the example let's see which subject you have to use the helping verb has have that is he has she has it has we have you have they have let us try to understand with the example in active voice the lady has grown a plant now we have to convert into passive voice in passive voice a plant has been grown by the lady a plant is object in active voice and now change as a subject in passive voice has is the helping verb been as it is you have to write it you can see both active and passive voice v3 form of the verb there is no change in v3 you can write the word grown as it is in passive voice that is grown is the v3 form of the verb here by as it is you have to write it before the object the lady is a subject in active voice and now change as object in passive voice now the next topic is simple past tense let's see what is simple past tense an action that is completed before now now we will see the rules in active voice and passive voice of past tense in active voice subject plus v2 plus object in passive voice subject plus helping verb was where plus v3 plus by plus object before we go to the example we will see which subject you have to use helping verb was where if it is a singular noun you have to use was if it is a plural noun you have to use where that is he was she was it was we were you were they were let's see the example in active voice we stopped the bus we have to convert into active voice into passive voice now the passive voice the bus was stopped by us the bus is object in active voice and now changes the subject in passive voice was is a helping verb stopped is a v3 form of the verb by before the object you have to write it as v is a subject in active voice and now we have to change this v as a pronoun as as a object in passive voice that is v means you have to change as in passive voice past continuous tense past continuous tense refers to a continuing action or state that was happening at some point in the past let's see the rules in active voice subject plus helping verb was 
where plus V1 plus ING plus object. In passive voice, subject plus helping verb was where plus being plus V3 plus by plus object. Let us try to understand with the help of example. In active voice, the woodcutter was cutting trees. Now, we have to change from active voice into passive voice. In passive voice, trees were being cut by the woodcutter. Trees is the object in active voice and now change as a subject in passive voice. Where is the helping verb? Being play a very important role in passive voice. Cut V3 form of the verb that is past the participle. By before the object as it is you have to write it. The woodcutter is a subject in active voice and now change as object in passive voice. Past perfect tense. Past perfect tense is used to refer to an action at a time. Earlier than a time in the past. See the rules in active voice. Subject plus helping verb had plus V3 plus object. In passive voice, subject plus helping verb had plus being plus V3 plus by plus object. In past perfect tense, for all the subject you have to use had. Let's see the example now. In active voice, he had closed the window. Now, we have to change the sentence from active voice into passive voice. In passive voice, the window had been closed by him. The window is the object in active voice and now change as a subject in passive voice. Had is a helping verb. Been as it is, you have to write it. Closed, V3 form of the verb. By, before the object, you have to write it. Him, he is a subject in active voice and now we have to change this he as a pronoun him as an object in passive voice. Already I informed you in active voice he means you have to change him. Future tense. Let's see future tense. Future tense is an action which will happen in the future. Let's see the rules in active voice. Subject plus helping verb shall will plus v1 plus object. In passive voice subject plus helping verb shall will plus be plus V3, plus by, plus object. Let's see the example. In active voice, we shall sell the flowers. Now, we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, the flowers will be sold by us. The flowers is an object in active voice and now change as a subject in passive voice. Will is the helping verb. Be as it is, you have to write it. Sold. You have to change the word sell into sold. V3 form of the verb that is past to participle. By before the object you have to write it as V is a subject in active voice and now we have to change this V as a pronoun as as an object in passive voice. That is V in active voice you have to change as in passive voice. Future perfect tense. Future perfect tense is a verb or construction used to describe an event that is planned to happen before a time of reference in the future. See the rules in active voice. Subject plus helping verb shall, will, plus have, plus V3, plus object. In passive voice, subject plus helping verb will, shall, plus have, plus be, plus V3, plus by, plus object. Let us try to understand with example. In active voice, she will have written the test. Now, we have to convert active voice into passive voice. In passive voice, the test will have been written by her. The test is the object in active voice and now changes the subject in passive voice. Will is the helping verb. Have been, as it is, you have to write it, written. In both active voice and passive voice, you are having V3 form of the verb. So, you have to write the word as it is written. By, before the object, you have to write it as it is. Her, she is the subject in active voice, now we have to change this she as a pronoun, her, as the object in passive voice. That is, she in active voice, you have to change her in passive voice. I have covered eight types of tense in active and passive voice. Next, other topic of active and passive voice, that is, imperative sentence, interrogative sentence, and models. We will discuss now. So, let's start. Imperative sentence. Imperative sentence is used to convey a command, order, advice, and request, or a forbiddance. It's called an imperative sentence. 
it is a very easy topic compared to other topic in active and passive voice so you have to follow the rules there are two forms in imperative sentence that is with an object in imperative sentence without an object in imperative sentence we will see how to convert this two forms with an object without an object let us try to understand with the rules and examples first you are going to learn the positive method in imperative sentence that is with an object here in imperative sentence there is no subject so always start with the verb see the rules in active voice v1 plus object that is v1 is the present form of the verb in passive voice see start with let let plus object plus b plus v3 your v3 is the past part participle first you have to add let in passive voice see the sentence in active voice that is example close the door this is the example in active voice now we have to change this in passive voice already i informed you before the verb you have to use let see the rules first you have to use the let let you have to write it after the let you have to bring the object here the door next to object you have to write b after the b you have to write close that is you have to write it closed that is v3 past participle third form of the verb next example call the police first you have to start with let next you have to bring the object here the police next you have to write b next call you have to write it called that is v3 third form of the verb next we will see imperative sentence in negative method with an object see the rules in active voice v1 plus object in passive voice let plus object plus not plus b plus v3 here don't in that place you are going to use not in passive voice let's see the example in active voice don't insult the poor you have to change into passive voice see the rules in passive voice you have to start with let let the poor not be insulted let you have to write first then bring the object poor next you have to write not then b as it is you have to write insult insult you have to change into insulted that is v3 third form of the verb next example in active voice don't open the door now we have to change into passive voice in passive voice let the door not be opened you have to start with let in passive voice next you have to bring the object door next you have to write not then b as it is you have to write it next open you have to change into opened that is v3 third form of the verb next we are going to learn without an object in imperative sentence here no need to change verb subject and object and add infinitive verb to in active voice if a sentence is request in passive voice you have to write your requested to in active voice if a sentence is order in passive voice you have to write your order to in active voice if a sentence is advice in passive voice you have to write your advice to in active voice if a sentence is negative in passive voice you have to write your forbidden to let's see the example in imperative sentence without an object in active voice please speak softly you have to remove please and add requested in passive voice you are requested to speak softly next example in active voice work hard now we have to change into passive voice you are advised to work hard you may have doubt whether you have to use order or advised from this anyone you can use it order or advised next example don't play now here you have to remove don't use forbidden in passive voice you are forbidden to play now next interrogative sentence interrogative sentence is a sentence that ask your questions the interrogative sentence are punctuated with question mark that is it should be in question form interrogative sentence is divided into two types that is s or no type wh question type here we are going to see two verbs auxiliary verb and modal auxiliary verb first we will see auxiliary verb is am or was where 
This is the be form verb. Do, does, did. This is the do form verb. Has, have, had. This is the have form verb. All this are auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb should agree with the subject. Let's see model auxiliary verb. Will, would, can, could, shall, should, may, might, must. WH question type begins with what, why, who, where, when, which, whom, whose and how. Now we will see both the type yes or no type and WH question type. How to convert from active voice into passive voice. First, we will see yes or no type in simple present tense. Before we start this, you should know does, do. Does based on singular here is you have to use. Do based on plural here are you have to use. Here in SR no type, auxiliary verb comes first. It should agree with the subject. Now, let us try to understand with the rules and example. In active voice, auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus object. In passive voice, auxiliary verb plus subject plus V3 plus by plus object. Let's see the example now. In active voice, do you like biscuits? Now, we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, are biscuits liked by you? Or plural because we are using biscuits. Like V3 form of the verb, by as it is you have tried it, you is your object. Next example, in active voice, does color sing a song? Now we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, a song sung by Kala is, is a singular because, because we are using a song. Sung is a V3 form of the verb by as it is, Kala is your object. Simple past tense in interrogative sentence. Did is the past tense, auxiliary verb was, where we are going to use based on subject. Let's see the rules and example. In active voice, Subject plus V1 plus object. In passive voice, auxiliary verb was, where, plus subject, plus V3, plus by, plus object. Let's see the example. In active voice, did little Amma break the glass? Now, we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, was the glass broken by little Amma? Glass is a singular, so you have to use was. If it is a plural, you have to use where break you have to write broken because v3 form of the verb by as it is you have to write it little amar is your object present continuous tense in interrogative sentence let's see the rules and example here always start with auxiliary verb in active voice auxiliary verb is am or plus subject plus verb plus ing plus object in passive voice auxiliary verb is am or plus subject plus being plus v3 plus by plus object. It should be in question form. Let us try to understand with example. In active voice, am I teaching biology? Now we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, is biology being taught by me? Biology is a singular, you have to use is. Being as it is, teaching, you have to change it as thought. But as it is, I, you have to change as pronoun me. Present perfect tense in interrogative sentence. Let's see the rules in present perfect tense. In active voice, has, have, plus subject, plus V3, plus object. In passive voice, has, have, plus subject, plus being, plus V3, plus by, plus object. Let us try to understand with the example. In active voice, has smaller written the test. Now we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, has the test been written by Mala? Here, test is a singular, so you have to use has. Test is a subject here. Being as it is, you have to write it. Written V3 form of the verb. By as it is, you have to write it. Mala is your object. Past to continuous tense. Let's see the rules. In active voice, auxiliary verb was, where, plus subject, plus verb, plus ing, plus object. In passive voice, auxiliary verb was, where plus subject plus being plus v3 plus by plus object. Let's see the example. In active voice, was she taking photos? Now we have to change into passive voice. In passive voice, where photos being taken by her. Here, photos is a plural, so you have to use where. Being as it is, you have to write it. 
taking you have to change as a v3 of the verb taken by as it is you have tried it she you have to change her as a pronoun past perfect tense for all the subject you have to use had let's see the rules in active voice had plus subject plus v3 plus object in passive voice had plus subject plus been plus v3 plus by plus object let's see the example in active voice had she helped them now we have to change it to passive voice in passive voice had they been helped by her here had as it is you have to write there is no change them in active voice you have to change into passive voice as a pronoun they as your subject here been as it is you have to write it help you have to change helped that is v3 form of the verb by as it is you have to write it she in active voice you have to change as a pronoun in passive voice her as your object in passive voice i have covered s or no type that is auxiliary verb and modal auxiliary verb in interrogative sentence now let's see next wh question type wh question begins with what when where who whom which whose why and how we use them to ask for information before we go to the rules and example wh question it should be in question form for all the wh question word you have to start as it is but except who and by whom for this type i will explain in the example let's see the rules in active voice wh question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus object in passive voice wh question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus v3 plus by plus object let us try to understand with example in active voice why do you like fruits now we have to change into passive voice in passive voice why are fruits liked by you you have to write question word as it is why we are using or because fruits is a plural so we are using or or as a auxiliary verb like to be three that is third form of the verb why as it is you as a object next this is very important in wh question type if who comes as a question word in active voice you have to change by whom in passive voice suppose in active voice if they start with by whom in passive voice you have to start with who this you have to follow let's see the example in active voice who killed the dog now we have to change into passive voice in passive voice by who was a dog killed by you have to bring it first who you have to change who was a auxiliary verb dog is a subject killed v3 form of the verb next modal auxiliary verb models helps to express the mood or attitude of the speaker and convey ideas about possibility probability necessity obligation and permission modal auxiliary verbs include can could shall should will would may might must let's see the rules in active voice modal verb plus subject plus v1 plus object in passive voice modal verb plus subject plus b plus v3 plus by plus object modal verb you have to write as it is you should not change the model let's see the example in active voice can students learn the hindi now we have to change into passive voice can the hindi be learned by students can you should not change the model as it is you have to write it the hindi is a subject b as it is you have to write it learn v3 form of the verb by as it is you have to write it students is object next example should you practice dance in active voice now we have to change into passive voice should dance be practiced by you here should modal verb as it is you have to write it dance is a subject b as it is you have to write it practiced v3 form of the verb then by as it is you have to write it you as a object dear students i want to give few instruction for you first of all you have to learn and understand the concept of voice second revise tense properly that is rules of voice third learn what is v1 v2 and v3 form of the verb 
because voice is a vast topic you have to practice a lot practice makes a man perfect